Hey my squidlings, it's Katie here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a fan art piece and I'm doing uh, Joker or the main character from Persona 5. Um, I haven't drawn uh, digitally in like, I don't know, it's been like a month and I feel like I just forgot how to art. So I decided to take a sketch that I actually did traditionally and line art it and kind of work my way back into digital art because girlfriend needs to work more in digital art. This is why I was doing Digital Mondays, <laughs> but maybe I'll do it more often. Um, but anyway, I, again, I feel like I forgot how to do everything, so I just line arted this based off of the sketch that I had done, um, and I made a big, big regret kind of thing with the inking pen that I used. Like, never again am I going to use that because it just didn't work well. So, anyway, um, I decided to do, like, a chibi version, and I may end up doing a chibi version of all of them, but I don't know. I did have a problem with some of the lines, as you'll see. I kind of went back and forth trying to decide what I liked and what I didn't, but, um, and then his mouth. Oh, his mouth gave me so much trouble. I couldn't get it right. And then his nose. I hated the way his nose looked. And then his mask. I hated the way his mask looked. So, um, I went over and over again through various, uh, parts in the video to try to fix the line art. So anyway, after I finally get the line art done, I do the flat coloring, um, and the pretty simple it's just flat coloring and I honestly didn't know how I wanted to shade this I wanted to do initially a blendy technique and you'll see that um, when I do end up shading that I kind of I started to and then I end up kind of going back into cell shading just because I felt like this chibi looked better cell shaded than it did um, blendy shading I don't know it just didn't feel like it needed a I don't, it's not even really realistic shading. I just felt like it didn't really need it. So, um, I suppose that's probably how I'll end up doing my shading, just depending on whether I feel like it would look good one way or the other. So anyway, one thing I hated about the line art pen that I was using is when I colored, it made things really gappy, and that was really annoying. So, again, that's probably why I will never use it again. If I do, it'll be for, like, really quick sketches, and I think that's probably for the best. So, um, anyway, I think he's pretty cute. I, I love main character. He's great. I think his canon name is, like, Akira or something. I don't know. I just call him main character because that's just what I call him. Um, I actually ended up naming him Ray, kind of like a gender-bent Raisha, and it kind of worked, but I couldn't think of anything else. So, with his hair, I really wanted to do something cool. Um, <laughs> I really want to do something cool. Anyway, I shaded it with a little bit of blue and then um, I went over it with darker blacks and grays. And then I went to put some highlights in it and I ended up doing like, they kind of look like stars. I think the brush is called dust or something, but it's like glowing stars. And I thought it looked really cool, uh, but I ended up scrapping the idea. Um, I don't know. I just felt like it wouldn't translate well. However, um, I might redo this piece just in my spare time, and I might do that, and then have them all have, like, cool galaxy hair. I don't know how that'll work, but I thought it would be pretty cool. And I like the way it turned out, but it just, I don't know, it just turned out weird. Like, I don't know, it just felt like it didn't fit with the rest of the piece. That's what I'm trying to say. But, um, I liked it. I should have kept it, but I didn't. So anyway, soon you're going to see my struggle between cell shaded and blendy shaded because I actually start to struggle with that when I start shading his coat thing. Um, his face is kind of blendy shaded and so is his mask, but I felt like it was okay because it wasn't really that big of a deal. So yeah, here we go. This <laughs> is shading. And I like it cell shaded. I think it looks really well and I think it works. Um, oh yeah, and the, like, the... I don't know what they're called, like the crotch folds of these pants. I could not get them to look right, so I didn't even shade them. I ended up just completely scrapping that. So, This piece, for me, was one of those pieces that I kind of rushed. Um, I I literally did that at the time of voicing this over. I, um, it's really early in the morning, and I have places to be tomorrow, and so I <laughs> kind of rushed through this one. So I think my next uh, digital speed paint video, I'm actually going to take my time on and do something really good so um 
let's hope for the best with that one. <laughs> uh, and then I didn't really know what to do with a background, so I ended up putting like a circle, or actually it's more like an oval behind him. And I put some, it's a brush, I don't remember what it's called, but it's fancy circle things. And then I wrote Joker on the top corners of, like the top left corner and the bottom right corner. Uh, just to kind of symbolize like a playing card. I don't know, I don't know where I was going with it. I might, like I said, I might um, do a little more with it in the future. Probably not film it or anything, but I don't know. I like the concept of it and I think... I just need to redo it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you're not already a part of our cute little squid pod, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to become a part of our cute little squid pod. And until next time, guys, to the loo.